We're going to have a look at before and after designs from 12 of our Flux students to see if they actually got any better. If they didn't, I think I'm going to give up teaching. If you want to improve as a designer, you need three things. Number one, some knowledge of principles. You need that North Star, something to be worked towards, uh, ideas that can help you distinguish good design from bad. Secondly, you'll need deliberate practice. You need to put the hours in, but not just mindlessly or churning out the same thing, but actually trying to improve and working on things and getting them better and thirdly you'll need feedback you'll need somebody to sit down with you who has that more experience more knowledge more expertise and skill that can actually show you and actually guide you where you're going wrong help identify maybe some blind spots in your design and guide you to areas where you can improve and if you take that feedback on board and they're able to show you and you're able to expose yourself to better quality design. These things together will help you grow and improve as a designer. Now, our core design skills students have had all these things. They've learned principles, they've had time to practice and they've had feedback from our coaches, but have they got any better? Let's have a look. The first of our students is Mariam Amin and we'll link to as many of these students as we can in the description if they'd like that. And this might give you an idea of the level of some of our students. We have people coming in who've never done design before and then we also have experienced designers who really want to get a solid grasp of the fundamentals. And this brief was for a website hero section for this software company called Social. I wrote this copy, this brief. What do you think of this? The next step from auto suggests we analyze your message history and use the power of artificial intelligence to automatically converse with your friends and family. No need to keep up with endless WhatsApp groups or make lame excuses when you don't want to go out. We handle your entire social life. I predict this will be online within about three months. And you can see here that this looks pretty rudimentary, doesn't it? We're not going to trash people's work because the whole idea is that people can come into these courses and learn design. but you can see the sort of, I'm not going to break this one down massively, but I will with some of them to help you understand uh, what can be improved. But have a look at that for yourself. But then let's go to the after straight away. And now this looks like a modern professional website. If we just go back and see that, you know, the relative sizes of things and it, it, this just looks like something that's, you know, very out of date and just it lacks a lot of finesse. Whereas here, we've really upgraded the imagery. I'm just gonna flick over so we can scroll through this a little bit and see this wider view, where by having this consistent style of imagery and then tidying up the type setting, just those things alone are enough to take this thing from amateurish, untrustworthy, to more professional looking. I think that's a great amount of uh, progress after a short course. The next person is William and in Williams before design similarly this sort of hero section it looks like a very out of date it's like should something be up at the top left then we've got the actual name of the coffee shop sort of large here but the main problem we've got is these is low quality imagery and then inconsistencies so we have this shopping cart then a uh, human avatar, you know, user account icon next to it. And there are different styles here. We've got different stroke widths, the kind of different sizes. And then we've got a third style with this buy now button that also has like a shopping bag next to it. But then we've got a bag and we've got a cart, these sorts of inconsistencies. And then we've got three different fonts going on. The one for the navigation, the one for the logo, uh, the one for the byline here is that a fourth font actually for by now it's like every different thing has a different font um but go to the after it looks like a website we've just really uh, simplified the work here and we've got this focal point now where our eye leads down along the arm to the pouring of the coffee and there we find our headline next to that so obviously there's there's things that can be improved here like this button type is a bit long and small but I think just seeing this as uh, progress, you know, as we go, we've now got these sections to the side and the thing is breathing and there's more of a rhythm to it. If you look at like a section like this, this is so much more quality. There's an organization of information. Things are aligned, you know, that everything is centrally aligned and there's just a lot more order to it uh, than what we had 
in the before. So that just sees sort of progress that people make. So great job to William. We have this one from Akos and this was another one of the briefs. You've seen the three briefs now, the social app and the coffee shop and then this music festival in Australia called Lightwaves. And this is kind of the obvious thing and this is a, a telltale with you know, sort of more amateurish newbie designers just going to the, well, let's just have a crowd, you know, sort of in the background. So th the idea even there is not, you know, super original. And again, you know, just the, the type looks very default, these font choices. If we go to the after, this is much more interesting. Instead of these going back, in fact, I've got them side by side here, these default looking fonts on the left, we've, we've now got this geometric font paired with this modern looking serif and there's a lot more interest there going on and it looks just a lot more crafted we've got this abstract shape in the background and we've been able to limit the color scheme here we've just really got the black the light pink and the green and white um, so black and white plus two colors whereas on the first one we've got all the colors of the imagery and this purple that doesn't really convey music festival it doesn't have that edginess to it so although again there's things that can be uh, Im improved on, on, on the one on the right what we do have is something that matches the tone more it matches the feel a lot more of a music festival so that's really great progress there Akos. Lucas Fernandez has done a similar thing uh, with his website for this music festival instead of a poster then using a full screen image now uh, this is you know probably one of the better before images that we've seen so far you know students coming to our courses at all sort of different levels so there's already sensible things going on here like the grouping the navigation is nicely grouped in the top right the brand name logo is where we expect it on the top left you know the headline is the largest item on the page so there's some sense of hierarchy so these things make sense but the way everything's kind of just shoved to the top and bottom and just with this it's not very interesting composition compositionally uh, and then just this background image but if we look at the after image now we've got a really nice composition achieved the imagery is a lot more interesting we have the outline map of Australia with the photograph mask there and that's over the top of that background image of the uh, crowd but it's been treated in a way in this one color so it, it works more as a background uh, it looks a lot more deliberate and there's a lot of finessing going on now I, li I like these uh, buttons like the top right the buy tickets with the solid drop shadow that's there we've got this color scheme that just seems to make more sense now the percentage values of the colors that are used across the page are much more sensible and we have a nice composition that sort of draws our eye around it in a pattern that's a much uh, better way of doing that we can have a look at sort of a wider view and it goes into these different sections here so that's really tidy work there from Lucas next we have Alison Reyes and again a before work is not bad you know the word mark for this festival is quite interesting and it's just the composition again is not super appealing I'm also not sure about this font it's like a humanist font that is used uh, for this body copy and I don't think that's the right feel uh, for where it pairs up with this kind of retro stylized display font for the word mark and also this proportions here on this buy tickets button are not great now she's actually done here a different brief for the after she's gone to the coffee shop but look at the elegance of this so let's just look at the full spread of it this is something much more elegant we have this nice background texture to give it some depth so she's bringing in all these principles she's been learning about like depth and contrast and white space uh, the typesetting here you know is is much better and we have throughout this sort of consistent style this collage imagery that uh, fits on on these backgrounds and it's all this sort of handcrafted you know collage style we've got elements from nature that come through the birds and the plants uh, that are matched with the coffee it makes it feel very natural which goes also well with the green this deep rich green gives it a premium feeling which sits well with the fonts that she's chosen this just elegant but modern type serif 
nicely selected photographs. A little bit of a treatment here with these uh, fold lines on the photographs to make it fit with this sort of handcrafted look. You know, it looks like people who sort of, you know, make or cut out, you know, these collages or butterflies, put them in frames, you know, and just giving the whole thing space to, to breathe and move through. So there's a nice little journey as we scroll through. For a project site, you know, which someone's not going to spend weeks on, I think this is uh, really good work. So excellent job there, Alison. Check her out. Next, we have Danielle. And again, we've got someone here who looks like maybe a little bit newer to design. We've got issues like the contrast here, this turquoise type color with white type on it. It's just pretty much impossible to read. Um, so that's not very appealing. The way they've used the space here, it doesn't work as white space to allow the other parts to breathe. It just looks like empty space because things haven't been compositionally arranged in a sensible way. And so it it's a weak kind of looking uh, feel overall. But afterwards, again, they've gone to a different brief. But we have something, again, that's just improved because there's just more logic to it. And whilst, again, you know, we could, we could see more with this, we could see improvements, it's not the finished article. But what we do have with this Lightwaves design is, you know, some treatment of the imagery here. If we just go back, you know, this kind of phone image and this little weird graphic over the top just sort of floating there versus this image, which looks like it should be in place. We've got this noise texture that translates into the next panel. And also, it does lead our eye again uh, back up to uh, this type and the way this type saying, you know, it's beginning to improve. So you can definitely see the improvement there uh, with Danielle. Next is Derian, and he's done the social app again. And here we're we kind of got a very default looking, again, navigation bar. This text looks very default. The type's a little bit too big and they're all too close to one another. And then here, this doesn't really give us a lot of information. And if we're gonna have imagery or something, it should be for a reason. It should be able to convey something. And whilst these gradients are, you know, nice, this sort of noise gradient, it, it looks, you know, visually pleasing. It doesn't really give us much. and Again, this the choice of font here for this byline is not great. No personality to it, really. But it's also not used in an, an, an elegant way, you know, as a, a grotesque. So it just ends up looking default. But afterwards, we find a site that really looks much more like a modern uh, website here. Although we're using similar sort of fonts, the fact that just how they're they're in bold here and the way they're typeset a lot better. They ju it just really helps. We've got you know the use of these different weights like bold for the headlines, and then a regular weight for the next bit. And by having these these uh, this central focal point of the robot on the three D phone, it's just really upgraded the imagery. And then we have these columns here. All these icons are treated in this same way with a little bit of a 3D feel. And then we go into some, you know, different sorts of layouts. And whilst we could make probably these panels a little bit more appealing, this flat gray uh, kind of lacks, you know, some of the finesse that we, we see at the top. And I think we could maybe do more with that. We've definitely got something here, which if we just go back again to this, doesn't look like a really professional website. It looks like a work in progress. Whereas now we have something that looks more legit. Next up is Ella. And she started with this coffee shop brief. And again, doesn't really look like a website is the main thing I was seeing. The alignment's kind of off, like these arrows don't look like they're aligned right to the center. Um, and everything kind of just looks like random things thrown onto a page. I don't know what these squares are for on the left these three, or are they actually rectangles or almost square? And the size of the logo versus the size of the headline. Let's jump to the after. And I think you can see definite progress here. And again, this is not the finished article. The relative type sizes are a problem. You know, why do we have these stars that are massive? They're not properly aligned. But what we can see is someone who's getting to grips from here to here with 
what a website is and how it should be laid out and what should be involved. So I think it's great to see that progress, Ella, and you keep going and you keep practicing and uh, you'll you'll see yourself uh, finding um, great progress. Next is Joey. And Joey's an interesting one. Stick with me for this one. We This design is kind of like super 90s. This kind of, it reminds me of a book of, See, we don't have fake AI, ba AI, ba AI backgrounds here. This is a real studio. This book has got these like super like 1990 style layouts. That's what this kind of reminds me of when I started designing in the late 90s. And the way this is typeset here reminds me of that. And whilst there's kind of a vibe going on on the left with this headline and all these things in the background, I think you know the way this type lays on here. You can see how we can we can make progress with it. In the after, we have something that looks like a modern website. There's more of a logic to it. The hierarchies it leads us through. We've got the headline. I think there's a spelling mistake here. We've got light waves and light waves, but then that big, and then it leads us into uh, that next byline, the world's best indie music, and just a little bit of interest here as we sort of follow through. Uh, the composition. I'm not sure about this CTA being over at the side there, but it just leads us through in a nice way. We've got, I'll zoom in a little bit, we've got these tables here uh, that are nicely organized information. There's just much more sense to it. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? So we've got mock ups of Ran in the middle uh, as Marshmallow. Me as, is this because my strat here? as Ingrid Malmsteen who younger viewers will not even know who he is that that's kind of creepy that's going to haunt my dreams and then we've got Rachel Fury which I think is more something in his dreams this treatment of Rachel I'm uh, not too sure about that mate I think that's something you should maybe uh, keep for yourself rather than sharing with us but we definitely see progress in your design nice large headlines bit of sequencing is a Rachel Furry concert safe? I'm not sure, mate, if you're going to be there. But overall, this is cool. Tidy little footer. And again, you can just see the progress from that to this. We're now going to something modern looking. A couple more. Sam, this Light Waves Festival, again, looks kind of more like a flyer. Afterwards, it is a poster. But the imagery has been massively upgraded. Just throwing this onto a yellow field. And, and the fonts you've chosen doesn't look like an indie festival. It really doesn't have that right feel to it. Whereas here, we've got some imagery which is more visually interesting. It's gonna draw me towards uh, that poster. Same with the, the logo that you've created for the festival. Just looks a lot more appropriate and you've tidied up uh, your type. I think compositionally, some things we can do, like we've got this center line, then we've got left align, right align, it's kind of, thrown into the corners a little bit which sort of makes sense with this explosion but that could be finessed however great to see the upgrade in imagery Tyler now with Tyler's work where do I look I feel like the people in this photograph like where am I supposed to look <laughs> they're looking all around there's no clear focal point in the photograph or in this whole composition I've got this big photo but then I'm kind of looking at a white block because it's there but then the type center aligned within that, but it's not even vertically aligned and it's kind of just shoved over to the left a bit. I'm not sure why the navigation like about us is on two lines instead of one. Things aren't even aligned properly. So this is very rudimentary. Whereas afterwards, whilst I would say this somebody who's probably still like a student, someone who's still learning the craft, you can see how it's improving, see how things have been grouped together in sensible areas. We've even got this like visual pun where we have the arrows pointing towards the coffee shop, which matches the name, Converge. So this would help it be more memorable. So we're seeing a real improvement in uh, simple discipline, which is really encouraging to see, Tyler. So keep going. And finally, we have Cowstaff. And I'm really impressed with this. I think his before design is not bad we've got a lot of sensible things going on this is a regular kind of hero section how we would expect a website to be things in logical places 
an appealing image. We've limited the color scheme. Uh, apart from white, we've just got blue and orange, which are complementary colors on opposite sides of the wheel. They work well together. So everything here is kind of sensible. We probably just want to tighten up some of the spacing and things like that, but it kind of makes sense. But by applying all the principles that CalStaff's been picking up on the course, and I can see them in action here, what a difference, man. Now we've got something which is just so much more interesting. This has got some visual appeal. We have a composition here. Instead of just throwing the photo into the background, we've masked out this coffee van and then overlaid you know, these different images to make it feel a lot less boxy and break out. Also using these angled ribbons here that go across, they make it feel less boxy. And again, it just leads us through. We've got sensible call to actions, you know, they're clear enough. We've got this interesting font choice here, which I think is similar to what was no, it's very different to what was before. You know, we've got this sort of rounded serif before. Now we have this really modern sans serif that's quite wide. It's got these really interesting curvy S's, and but it's still legible. You know, it's got double story A, and it, it, the counters are nice and open, and we can read this thing, but it gives it more personality and difference. And as we go through these uh, different sections, you know, a tidy little footer, but you know, I'm particularly impressed with this hero in this top section here, how we've just created something that's gonna be a lot more memorable uh, for the user. So thank you to all our students who uh, ha have had their work featured here. It's quite scary, you know, to have it shared with the public. If you wanna check any of those guys out, we'll link to them in the description as well as our Core Design Skills program. If you wanna see wherever you're at, if you feel like some of those designers that didn't have much design skills at the beginning, or if you feel like you've already got, you know, some good ability, but you wanna really grasp the fundamentals, then Core Design Skills is the one for that. Until next time, happy designing.